the sound of the babbling brooks and the sound of me screaming because there's no because I failed a Kate Sith. Lovely sounds today, you know? Very, very lovely. I would have loved if one of these things actually had items I cared about. I have healing grapes. I have all these healing items and I barely use them. Yeah, surprise the foe, okay. That works. Night Ode. Uh, okay, Primrose is five away from another one. Therian's two thousand away. Cyrus is a lot away, and Oberix at least six hundred and seven away from getting their next uh, skills. So Primrose is pretty close. I'm stretch it's just down my bed. I really need an actual chair. What's this way? That's the actual town. We don't need to go into that yet. There's stuff we can get before it. Come on, I've got better things to do. I'm ready. Three thousand, one thousand, three thousand, five hundred. We're gonna go with Peacock. Yes. Was a 96 per chance, bitch. Ah. That was a 96 per cent chance. She had no right to tell me off. It's a giant egg. It's a good day for Victory. I'm ready. Okay, N nobody else can get another skill for a while.
Yeah, discounts. Oh, 25. That makes sense. I'm getting Twitter messages and I'm really just not in the mood to read them all. Still acts. Who gets a silver hell piece? Uh, that's good for SP, but you need defense. So, what about you? How's it doing you? Nope. Physical defense goes down, <laughs> but those rays. So sure, why not? Why not? Uh, we'll have to look at this. Obelix up with Hanit, and then these two are higher level. Well, these two I think were in the party when we got the Kate Sith, but it's like the others need a Kate Sith. To match up. Odds and ends equal that. Old coin equals that. And heavy coin pouch, which we stole two of and got a third one. So for a lot more. Oh, we have it. No need for it. No need for it. Nah. Oh, Barret doesn't need one, but three others do. And... Nah. Bronze Vest actually sucks. Let's just sell... All but one that we can still use because we need it. Two though. We do need to rest at the end though. 66, not bad. Killing Grape, you're the only thing I care about on that one. And none. Hi, Chess. Dubious Gold Ore, we could sell that first. Soothing Dust, Iron Vest. I don't even care at this point of challenging. Ooh, that's good. Speed goes down. That though is HP and I kind of want it. Uh, I'll save it for our next character that we came into contact with and we'll use him. Injury seed. Two low. And you need to. Oh! Guys, that elderly woman is buff! Someone draw me a buff elder. That buff elderly woman. Because, uh. <laughs> she's buff. Like, really buff. Like, probably chapter three buff. Oh, wait, yeah, so the dubious gold. 
Ooh, not as much, but still, I mean, come on, that's pretty good. You hear me, Fab? I'm coming for you. His name is Alfin, and he is a apothecary. His whole life has been spent in the pastoral village of Clearbrook, where he looks after the residents as a young apothecary. He's not alone in his efforts, efforts so. Zeph, his best friend since boyhood, works alongside him. Uh, the apothecary class is actually interesting. All those little, like, roots and stuff that you, in essence is, he's the one that gets to make use of them. But when Zeph's little sister is been by deadly viper, it falls to Alfin to fashion an antidote before the poison takes her. And so he ventures out to the cave of Rio. Rio. We must do battle with the Dread Beast. He will need caring allies on, us, on the path he has chosen. Play as Alfin. And... You take him for a barrack. Yes, hear the beginning of his tale. And the reputation. Our reputation is proved. Wait, did you just hear did you just hear a bad joke? Grandpa's weak. Can you really save him with that medicine of yours? You betcha. Just sit tight. Should do her. Drink it down slowly now. <laughs> well, be. Thank you, my boy. <laughs> Don't mention it. Just doing my job. have seen better days because it's not too much try to give the pipe a rest sir here oh, Alfin, thank you ever so much how blessed we are to have an apothecary like you in our little village apothecary a path of rocky, but the we can be a group. <laughs> what are you doing? In his, in this age, there was some medicine and healing was still in infancy. Before we continue, can I just mention that Ophelia, no, Cyrus can become a dancer. I'm just saying, so actually everybody can become a dancer. I might, <laughs> no, I, I might need to make another save file where everybody becomes a dan- like, on my second playthrough, throw everybody into the dancer class and just use a party of male dancers. Poor males. They can all dance. Oh, god, the images. Mama. 
just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger and now he's dead. Did you see me, Ma? I whipped up an anti-tussive elixir like you wouldn't believe. Am I any closer to being the man I want to be? The man he was. Oh, I've been looking all over for you. Uh, I'm Alfin, not Alf, the thing. Hey, is that you done for the day? Yes, only two patients today. Having you around sure eases the burden. <laughs> I could convince you to quit giving out discounts. Oh, come on. The poor gal has enough trouble looking after old Alec. I can't very well take what little she has. <laughs> I'm just teasing. You know that's what I like about you. If the villagers are healthy and happy, that's more than good enough for me. I'm just taking something on my YouTube guys from they speak. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Cause uh we may be new to this, but between the two of us, this village is in good hands. Sure is. Plagues, epidemics, bring your worst. I'm counting on you, Alf. We all are. Okay, so I have episodes. Uh, two, twelve. Fourteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one. This is an episode going up on the twenty-fourth. I can skip this whole upcoming week for recordings. Jeez. Okay, Brad, you've got enough after this episode. Who would have thought that little troublemaker would turn out to be a top-notch apothecary, huh? We can't all be born with a silver pestily hand, Master Zed. Your mother would be proud. Maybe. Anyway, I should be getting back to Nina. Yeah, beat it. Head on home, big brother. Alfin, we've been friends ever since we were small, right? I know you better than anyone, so be honest. You're keeping something from me, aren't you? Um. I'm right, aren't I? Alf, the truth is... Master Seth! Master Zeph, you must come quickly. It's... it's your sister. The... venomous snakey majigger thingamabobba, right? These look like bite marks. Alfin, could you take a look as well? Hmm? You got it, buddy. She's fallen into a deep trance. This is worse than we thought. I'm 
TV. Nina's the only family I have. If I lost her, I'd... Wish she could tell us what happened. It's safe to assume she was bitten by something poisonous. But what? Without knowing the nature of the poison... Yeah, the wrong medicine could make things worse, and quick. Damn it all! What foul beast did this to my Nina? Let me ask around. Maybe someone saw something. But you see, Alfin, yeah, his thing is, well, before I go right to him, I'll show with, like, one character. I'll show with this guy. Inquire. And he just speaks up. Inquire is a skill, but you see... Never one outfit, yes. I just started Alfin's path only. Next time, we will continue Alfin's story and possibly do a few like side quests for Therian's path. Until then, guys, thank you for watching. This is Brad. I'm out.